What do you do when you break a string? What do you do when you break five strings? But does it gent? Well, you play the coolest single string licks you can think of. Today we're going to go over five of them. Welcome to Music with Marky. So I put together a very short piece of background music here. I'm going to play each one of these in turn in context to something musical, and then we'll come back and talk about what each one of them is. Here's number one. So this first one is pretty simple. It's just a shift slide kind of lick that helps you go from position to position. You start with whatever note you're beginning on and then slide up to the next position and then pick twice and then continue. Also works going down. Works great if you're working between two different kind of like box patterns that you like. Maybe you're comfortable in the pentatonic minor. And then you like this pattern up here. I can slide all the way up. So it connects pieces together for you in a way that's more interesting than either just jumping or just doing a single slide. Let's look at lick number two. This is one of what I like to call wannabe shredder licks because it sounds really fast and shreddery, but you're not doing anything that's too complex or takes a very long time to learn. It's almost a tremolo picking riff. And so here you've got the note that you start on and you're just going to pick 16th notes, 16th note triplets, 32nd notes, whatever you can do comfortably at that speed, but your left hand is going to be doing the same thing. So basically, no matter how fast I'm picking, it's... And I just get the right hand going. So you just have to know your positions, your scales on one string to do this so you can move around and keep it in more than one place. But again, you're just picking really fast and your left hand isn't doing all that much, so it's something you can get down pretty well. And I have a bunch of these kind of wannabe shredder licks that are really simple. I'll link the lesson for that up here, another top five lesson. Let's look at my epic fail in lick number three. Okay, this is one I learned from Paul Gilbert, and it's a kind of pattern, a tongue twister for your fingers, if you will. And it works basically like this. If you start, say, on B minor here, you have three notes. So lowest, middle, highest. And you would go high note, low note, middle, high, middle. And then back to the first note. Same thing if you applied it in a different part of the scale, say from D major. High, low, middle, high, middle. And you saw when I played it there in the video, I did it slow first, and then when I came back and tried to do it, I couldn't execute it right. I've always had trouble with this one, and I ended up doing something that was kind of akin to the last wannabe shredder tremolo picking thing in an attempt at the pattern. Just right out of control, but at least I didn't hit any dead notes and my right hand and left hand stayed in some semblance of sync. But I include this one in our top five here today because I know one of you guys is going to get it right. Send me a video back playing it at speed because I want to know that there's hope that someone besides Paul Gilbert can play this thing. Now we move on to lick number four.
This one is something I got from Ingve. It's uh, his typical classical pedal point lick. I think he got it from Paganini or Bach or one of those guys, maybe both, I don't know. But basically, in your scale, you take whatever your top note is gonna be in the position you're in. Here, I'll do it as a G. And you just keep hitting it every other note. And then going back the scale. Then shift positions like that on the single string as I was doing to move along through this scale. And it has a very cool classical, uh, almost like you're playing in the metronome kind of pattern, but I think it sounds cool. And you can also play on multiple strings like I did uh, at the end of the example there. You can work your way down the whole scale. But you know, we only have one string on the guitar from what you said in the beginning, so you're gonna have to <laughs> and now for the last single string lick, number five. Okay, this one makes use of some visual flashiness and the whole moving capo idea with the picking hand. Slow, we look at it, and you're just doing a basic tapping thing. But instead of having the lowest note be the first finger of your fretting hand, you're going to take your picking hand and bring it out behind it. And here I just did it. I have 14, 12, 10, 9, 7, and then build my way back up, and the next time I go down to 5 instead of 7. So the faster you go, it gets a little bit difficult to play it cleanly, but with practice, you can get it there. And even at slow speeds, it sounds kind of cool and it looks cool on stage. And so there you have five licks you can play if you've only got one string left on your guitar. But seriously, the concept of moving horizontally like that is really important to expand your lead playing. I do have a lesson on that as a rut buster. I'll link that up here. And if you have any questions or comments, additional ideas, and maybe you get that fail I got and you can play it right, Send it back here, put it on the comment line. I get back to everyone as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.